What's going on, everybody? And welcome to another edition of the Mom and Son Show. I'm the mom. And I'm the son. And today we're going to be talking about wait times. We're going to be talking about ticket prices that we didn't even know about that we're mm -hmm. going to bring to your attention. And last and finally, we're talking about the hugest, biggest mistake that Disney's ever done with the Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel and why it failed. Let's go. Before we do that, don't forget to like and subscribe, but also, Mom, how was your weekend? It was awesome. We had a really, really busy, fun weekend, one of the best weekends in a long time. Because what did we do? We were drinking around Epcot, which was absolutely amazing. And if you want more about how the drinks taste, um, our rankings for them, jump on over to our last episode. It's called Drinking Around the World, the official guide, I believe, mm -hmm. something like that. It is really fun. You'll see how... From start to finish, uh, we look, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there's there's also a, uh, like, Where's Waldo component. So if anybody can figure out what that Where's Waldo thing is. Yes. Uh, in most of the countries. Um, and I will give you a heads up. I pretty much liked 80% and gave every drink a 10. A lot 10. of them were 10s. It was kind of crazy. But let's go ahead and let's go right into it, shall we? And, Mom, like we were saying before today... We're talking about don't wait. Don't wait for those rides. And guess what? We found that some of the ticket prices for us have toppled. And then, of course, everybody knows, or if you haven't, you've been hiding under a rock, the Star Cruiser smashed. Let's, Let's go. see what happened. Let's move it. So what month has been the least busy at Disney World this year? But not only this year. We're, we're talking for years. Well, well, to narrow it down, like for our viewers... Okay, so this year only, January, February, March, April, May, even though May isn't finished yet, which month has been the least busy? What do you think? I'm going to think it is May 2000. And you are absolutely <laughs> correct. Now, we kind of experienced this when we were there on Saturday. Um, so if you look here, this is from January of 2022. Obviously, the green bars are those months that has been very, not very light, but the lightest of all the other ones. Um, the average wait time was less than 30 minutes. However, I'm sure that the way that they average this out, so you have a ride like Avatar that is 90 minutes, 120 minutes long, but then you have the another ride rides. you that maybe is only a, a walk-on, so you average that out and it kind of like pulls that average down. So take that into consideration. However, we experienced it. I experienced it two weekends in a row in May. So I kind of have to agree with this. It's, uh, I mean, you, the average is the average. Right. It doesn't matter right. because even in January of 2022, they're still pulling mm -hmm. the exact same rides. Mm -hmm. So it does mean that there's less people in the park, which is why you should go now. Uh, we only have five days of school left, woo, woo. Uh -huh. so you never know. It's probably going to pick up because of summer breaks and whatnot. And this May has also been the least amount of wait time since October of 2021. Yeah. So it's been a nice right. May for us. <laughs> so October 2021. So, yeah. wow, that's crazy. It's awesome. And then last May, you can also see that it was a little lighter. So if you're planning a trip for next year, May, May. it's going to be hot, let's be honest, but if you don't want to wait for times like you normally do, May is a perfect time to go for next year. Let's keep moving though, Mom. Let's what, talk about this. Okay, so what is the cost? What do you think the cost of a Florida resident four day ticket, no park hopper is currently? I would say probably around 400 bucks, just because $100 a day, and the park hopper is probably 130 a day, so about okay. 400 bucks. Okay, so what I've come across is $229 for a tour to that for a four-day ticket okay so this is Florida resident only it's not a park hopper so you go each park one day you can go back and forth into those parks um, however one thing that I've been searching and I haven't been able to find it written the way that it usually is usually when you buy those four-day five-day tickets you get five or seven days to use it in yeah. This time, they're valid from May 16th through September 29th. So, so you don't have to use it. If you want to go up on a Thursday next week and then maybe go one day in July. There are a few blackout dates, which makes sense. Memorial Day, 4th of July, and Labor Day. 
but this is a deal that we haven't seen yeah. in forever. $58 a day just to go to the parks, which is uh, very, very yeah. unheard of. So yep. that's awesome. Yep. Great find. So if you're a Florida resident, now is your chance to get these two for the summer. If you um, don't have your annual pass. If you don't have an annual pass. And or if you have friends the, coming down yeah. that who happen, or who are, happen to live in Florida, because obviously it is a Florida Trying resident Trying to beat thing. the heat. Yep. 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 Awesome. And then what attraction will be closing mm. September 30th, 2023, after only being open less than two years? And everybody could have called this in the world. It mm -hmm. is the Galactic Star Cruiser. Okay. So the... Um, Star Cruiser obviously is closing September 28th through the 30th is their last voyage. Um, it's, I think part of the problem is it wasn't financially able to hold its own. They only have 100 rooms and I can't imagine the number of staff members that it takes to get this thing up and running and to keep it going. It is an immersive experience for those people who don't know what it's all about. Um, it, it's just, as you said, everybody predicted it when they first came out. And what was the number one reason? J the price. The price. The, the price was, I, I want to say it was close to $3,000 for two nights or one night. I think it was 6000 6, for a okay. party of four. Yeah. And it's just way out there. The So the premise of this, if you do not know, it was that you would check in, go up to the Star Cruiser, and you could have your own adventure, kind of like an escape game, where you go, you find clues and whatnot. It also gives you access to uh, Hollywood Studio, so it does yeah. include the ticket. Um, you it's, could choose which side you wanted to you be could, on. Yeah, you can <laughs> choose if you wanted to be on the light or the dark side. So it's very cool, it was a very cool concept. It's just like Mama's saying, it just wasn't realistic. With only 100 rooms, charging that much money, once you get out of all the, the real geeks of Star Wars, yeah. It's just yeah. nobody's going to want to pay that much money when you can stay elsewhere and have just as good an experience if you're not that big of a Star Wars fan. So I did read where once they had it developed and with the cost that it takes to have developed it, they were looking at an almost 20-year return to for their break-even point. Yeah. 20 years to get all of that money back. And part of that is because they only had 100 rooms. Crazy. <coughs> Crazy. Well, hey, yeah. thanks so much for watching us. Before we go, we always end with a mom joke of the day. Mom, what you got? Um, so getting back to Star Wars and Galaxy's Edge. By the way, if anybody has not, even if you don't follow Star Wars, go to Galaxy's Edge. The, it's awesome. It's just so it's Im impressive. Um, why was the droid angry as he was walking through Galaxy's Edge? Uh, well, he doesn't want the droid. Hmm. Uh, R2-D2. R2-D2. Why was he angry? <laughs> because everybody was pushing his buttons. Uh, nice. Do droids have buttons? Yes, they've got a lot of buttons. They do? Yes. Hmm. R2-D2. You don't see buttons on... Is he a droid? What's the definition of a droid? A droid I think is a C robot. I think CP3PO or whatever his name was, he's a droid. And I don't think he had buttons. All right. Well... Thanks so much for watching us. These jokes are getting worse and worse. Please leave a comment for a joke that mom can Oh, say. by the way, oh. we also have our Facebook page up and running. Yes, Facebook page up and running. So go ahead. At and the Mom and Son Show, there. I think. Yep. Okay. Yep. We'll leave it in the link below as well. Thanks so much for watching. I'm the mom. And I'm the son. And this is the Mom and Son Show.